Hey guys, so we and Aaron are in Toronto and I figured that we would show you guys an entire day of vegan eating here in Toronto. So first we are heading somewhere to get something to drink, maybe something to snack on. So let's go. Aaron's being cranky. He needs something to eat or drink in his body right now. <laughs> First we checked out Cupboard and Kim which is a vegan chain here in Toronto so it's really awesome and really convenient to grab some really great vegan food and we weren't even actually planning on coming here the other place we were going to go to was closed but we decided to come here and I was really impressed so they got smoothies, coffees, teas, all day breakfast, they have a lunch menu and a dessert menu as well, they have a pastry case full of delicious vegan pastries. So for breakfast, Aaron just decided to get this green tea matcha latte with almond milk. I don't know why he didn't get anything else. He said he was hungry. I got this juice and a bowl of congee. Congee is actually like the perfect breakfast if you're like not feeling something sweet. It's really savory. It's a rice porridge, so it has brown rice in it. It has kimchi on top, a bunch of veggies inside and mushrooms. And it was so delicious. And I'm actually totally craving it again right now. Do you want the cinnamon roll? Yes, please. Cinnamon roll, will you take Aaron in your hand in marriage? Yes, I will. <laughs> okay, give me. <laughs> Aaron hasn't eaten anything yet, so <clears throat> he's finally getting this little cinnamon roll from Bunners in Kensington Market. How's it taste? And I got this beautiful looking date bar. So let's give this a try. So soft. Mmm. For lunch, we checked out Urban Herbivore in the Kensington Market neighborhood, which is like this bohemian esque neighborhood in Toronto. Really fun, so go check it out if you're in the city. But Urban Herbivore is kind of like a cafe as well. They do bowls, sandwiches, drinks, etc. And Aaron decided to get this chipotle tofu sandwich with some cucumbers, some sprouts, greens, tomatoes, and it came with a little side salad as well. And of course I decided to get a big beautiful bowl. This had so much on it. So it had some carrots, beets, tomatoes, greens, pea pesto, chickpeas, black beans, lentils, green peas, all on a bed of grains and it was drizzled with a tahini dressing it was so delicious and so filling so if you're in toronto and want to get filled up check this place out <laughs> So I'm in this random bathroom in this place. I don't even know what this place is called. 
and Aaron and I just stopped here and I got some kombucha and he told me to come into the bathroom because he wouldn't tell me. So I have just gotten to the bathroom and there's some speakers and there is a disco ball. So there is a button on the wall. So we're gonna see what happens. Boop, 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 You're just gonna have to listen to this terrible song because I don't want you to do copyright me. Did you boop, 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 Okay, that was amazing. Now it's time to pee. So Aaron got this t-shirt <laughs> and he's posing for it. Justin Trudeau. Trudeau. Yes, Trudeau. Don't you know? <laughs> it's pretty amazing. This is epic. And then wait, watch. Best part. Bam! More the Trudeau. <laughs> Just when you thought you had enough. No, no. For dinner, we checked out Fresh, and this was by far my favorite place to eat in Toronto. We ate at this place three times. It was that good. And you can obviously tell it's good. Look at how many people are in here. It was packed every time we were here. Of course, I got some kombucha because kombucha. I also got this bowl with sweet potatoes, adzuki beans, tempeh, broccoli, watermelon seeds. It had this like delicious miso gravy, which was pretty much liquid gold. Aaron got this buffalo tofu wrap with fries, and he obviously is in heaven right now by the look on his face. He also got soba noodles, some fried tofu, some scallions, and this like ginger dressing. The cool thing about this place is that you can order like small size of things, so he kind of like built this like soba noodle bowl, and he was definitely more than pleased with it. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. So after dinner, me and Aaron went and did some karaoke, and this is something that I've wanted to do for such a long time. So I always wanted to recreate that scene from Lost in translation where Scarlett Johansson sings the Pretender song Brass in Pocket, and I finally got to do it. I'm obviously totally nerding out, and it was just such a great time. Toronto was an amazing city to visit, and I hope that I can come back in the future and enjoy some more amazing vegan food. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe here at Lost in Vegetation to keep up with me, Jeff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!